video will briefly explain the role of the LARC2 gene in Parkinson's and the LARC2 study at UCL Queen Square. What is Parkinson's? Parkinson's is a progressive neurological condition. It is first described by Dr. Parkinson in 1817 in his famous publication, An Essay on the Shaking Palsy. The main symptoms of Parkinson's are tremor, muscle stiffness, and slowness of movement. Besides the main symptoms that affect movement, people with Parkinson's experience other non-motor symptoms, such as tiredness, constipation, sleep problems, pain, depression, and difficulties with their balance. These symptoms may all have significant impact on the day-to-day -day lives of those peoples affected by the disease, as well as their families. How common is Parkinson's? It is estimated that 6.3 million people have Parkinson's worldwide. Parkinson's affects all races and cultures. In the UK, one person in every 500 has Parkinson's. That's about 127,000 people. According to the charity Parkinson's UK, one person is told they have Parkinson's every hour. Most people with Parkinson's are over 60, but it's estimated that one in 10 are diagnosed before the age of 50, with slightly more men than women being affected. Can Parkinson's be treated? There is currently no cure for Parkinson's, but there are a range of medical, surgical and physical treatments which manage the symptoms and aim to improve quality of life. What causes Parkinson's? Why some people develop Parkinson's disease is not entirely clear. The majority of cases are called idiopathic, which simply means that we don't know what has caused the disease. People with Parkinson's don't have enough of a chemical called dopamine because specific nerve cells inside their brain have died. It is not known why these cells die. Approximately 15% of people with Parkinson's have a family history of this disorder. For the majority of Parkinson's cases, a combination of genetic and environmental causes is believed to predispose these people to develop the disorder. What is the link between genes and Parkinson's disease? Research evidence suggests that around 10% of Parkinson's patients have a genetic cause. With advances in genetic research, this figure is expected to rise. Over 20 genes have so far been discovered and linked to Parkinson's disease. Majority of these genes run in families, but some genetic anomalies can be found in uninherited or so-called sporadic cases as well. Scientists think that variations in these genes can sometimes cause Parkinson's directly or modify the risk to the disease. What is the LARC2 gene? The word LARC2 is an abbreviation for leucine rich repeat kinase 2. The LARC2 gene is one of the 20,000 genes which are passed from parents to children. It is located in the long arm of chromosome 12. Each person inherits two copies of the LARC2 gene, one from mum and one from dad. What does the LARC2 gene do? The gene codes for a protein which works as an enzyme. The function of this enzyme is not clear yet. Research evidence suggests that LARC2 might play a role in the mitochondrial function. The mitochondria are the organelles which work as energy converters inside the cell. They are the cell's power stations. In addition, the LARC2 gene might have a role in recycling waste materials inside the cell in a process called autophagy. What is the link between LARC2 and Parkinson's? The link between Parkinson's and LARC2 gene was first described in 2004. It is believed a misspelling in the genetic material in what is called a mutation that can cause the enzyme product to overwork. Scientists suggest that overactivity of this enzyme could be responsible for the nerve cells damage that is found in Parkinson's. Drugs which can regulate this overactive enzyme might provide a new therapeutic target for treating Parkinson's. What are the mutations in the LARC2 gene and how they are inherited? Several mutations in the LARC2 gene were described in different population. By far, a mutation called the G2019S is the commonest known genetic cause of Parkinson's. Mutations in the LARC2 gene are passed from generation to generation in what is called autosomal dominant fashion. In an autosomal dominant disorder, only one mutated copy of the gene needs to be passed from one parent to the offspring to be affected. A person with a LARC2 G2019S mutation 
has a 50% chance of having an affected child and a 50% chance of having an unaffected child in each baby that is born. How common is the LARC2 G2019S mutation? The G2019S accounts for up to 6% of familial and approximately 1.5% of sporadic Parkinson's cases. It has a high prevalence in certain populations. Its prevalence can reach 30-40% to 40 in people with Parkinson's from Ashkenazi, Jewish, North African or Mediterranean backgrounds. Does everyone with the LARC2 mutation develop Parkinson's? Not every person who inherits the LARC2 mutation develops Parkinson's. This concept is called variable penetrance. People who have the mutation but do not have symptoms are called asymptomatic carriers. Research data suggests around 74% of people with the LARC2 mutation might be asymptomatic carriers. In addition, the 26% of people with the mutation who develop Parkinson's have different ages of onset and wide ranges of symptoms. It is not clear why some people who have the mutation never develop the disease, nor why the mutation behaves differently in different people. The LARC2 study at the Institute of Neurology, Queen Square. The LARC2 study is funded by the National Institute of Health Research, which is the UK government body that funds research in the National Health Service. The study is recruiting in different hospitals in London, including the National Hospital of Neurology and Neurosurgery, the Royal Free Hospital and Edgware's Community Hospital. The aims of the study are 1. To investigate the function of the LARC2 gene 2. To understand why some people with the LARC2 mutations develop Parkinson's while others do not 3. In the future, we hope some of the patients who participated in the study might take part in a clinical trial of medicines which act as inhibitors to the LARC2 enzyme. Who can participate in the study? The study is open to any patient with Parkinson's disease or their unaffected blood relatives. It is particularly suitable for people with family history of Parkinson's or from a high-risk ethnic background. What would happen if you choose to get involved? You will be invited by one of our research team to visit one of our recruitment centres. The visit takes around two hours. We will discuss with you the research study and how it is relevant to you. After this you will be requested to sign a consent form. We will ask you some questions about your medical history and your family history and then we will conduct a brief neurological examination. You will be requested to donate a blood and a urine sample. We will discuss with you if you would like to come for a second visit in the future to donate further samples. After the interview, you will be sent a link to complete some questionnaires online. None of these assessments are compulsory and you might choose to do all or some of them in different combinations. In addition, you can withdraw from the study at any time. Will I find out if I have the LARC2 gene change? This research project will not be generating genetic results for clinical use. If you would like to find out about your genetic results, we can arrange for you to have an NHS blood test at the Neurogenetics Clinic at the National Hospital, Queen Square, or the Royal Free Hospital, or in liaison with your local genetic or neurological services. Where I can find more information about the study. If you would like to have more information about the study, please contact Dr. May Rizig at the Institute of Neurology, UCL, or email our research team at the Edgware Hospital.